Hi everyone, so I haven't been doing a very good job of keeping up to date with my reviews on YouTube so today I'm going to try and make a dent in the number of reviews that I need to film. Okay, so today I'm here with a review of Forbidden by Jana Oliver which is the second book in the Demon Trapper series. So this one basically picks up where the first book left off with the trappers having to deal with the attack on the guild. I'm not going to go into any more detail of what happens in this book since it is the second book in a series and I don't want to have any spoilers in this. So our main character Riley was still a complete badass in this book but she had a hell of a lot to deal with. 1. Her boyfriend was acting really really weird. 2. She was having to deal with the hunters from Italy accusing her of working with the demons. And three, dealing with Beck's constant pressure of trying to get her to move in with her aunt. So yeah, Riley had a lot on her plate in this book. I just love her attitude. She doesn't care what people think of her. She doesn't feel like she has to prove herself to anyone apart from her dad. And she just, she just likes being herself. And I really love that about Riley. She'll stand up for herself. She does things that probably other people wouldn't approve of, like the guild don't approve of her being there, but she doesn't care. She was kind of slightly naive in this book because um, I kind of figured something out that she hadn't seen and I think it was because she didn't want to see it because she was just so focused on this thing. So yeah, she was kind of naive but I still really liked her. So Beck was being a bigger ass in this book than he was in the first one but I love him. I have a soft spot for Backwards Boy and I just can't hate him even when he's acting like an ass because he's doing it to protect Riley. He cares about her a hell of a lot even though he won't really admit how he actually feels about her and I really wish he would but uh, he just acts like that because he wants to protect her and keep her safe and it's so sweet of him. He's got this really sweet side that he doesn't show a lot but yeah he's one of my favourite characters. So Simon Riley's boyfriend was such an ass butt in this one. Seriously, I just really wanted her to punch him in the face because he really deserved it. In the first book he was such a goody two-shoes, such a sweet, nice, genuine guy, but in this one he was such a dick. And look, he's, I, I couldn't believe the change in him. I really couldn't. It shocked me and I really hope that Riley does punch him. So in this one we learnt a lot more about Ori. Uh, we found out what he was and who he is and when he revealed what he was I kind of guessed the right side of it but Riley didn't seem to see that and yeah um, I kind of knew but that doesn't excuse what he did to Riley and how I really want him dead. I am keeping my fingers crossed that he's gone for good. I really loved that Riley's best friend Peter was a bigger part of this book. Peter is going through his own family issues with his parents divorcing and I really liked how him and Riley were there for each other in this book. Peter is really amazing. I liked seeing him come out of his shell and start to do more things that he wouldn't have normally done because he's now living with his dad and I'm really looking forward to seeing more of Peter in the series. So like I said there was a lot going on in this book like with the hunter showing up and trying to rid the place of demons. Um, the whole thing with Ori, Riley and Beck's relationship and then we had Riley's abusive ex showing up in her class which was kind of Peter's fault but I can forgive him for that. Then there's the whole thing with the demons and hell and Riley's dad and of course the whole thing going on with the holy water supply because we still don't know what's happening in this and I'm really intrigued and I really want to know who has been messing with it and why. So this was such a fantastic sequel, I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it as much as the first book and I'm really looking forward to continuing on with this series. So that was my review of Forbidden by Janet Oliver. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone!